I'm at Darlington Park with a new Porsche 911 GT3 RS. The conditions are a little bit changeable, so it goes from sunny one minute to rainy the next. A bit intense on your eyes. Fortunately, I've got some Transitions Drivewear lenses in these glasses from glassesdirect.co.uk. What I'm going to do is tie myself on circuit in my normal glasses. Then I'm going to switch to the Transitions Drivewear, tie myself again, and see if these make me quicker. Let's do this. Before we head out on track, I'd like to introduce you to my racing instructor, Sam. So Sam, what are we gonna do? We're gonna time you. We're gonna do a lap with your glasses on, as normal. The normal glasses, all right. And then we're gonna do a lap with your special tinted lenses on. Oh, yeah, these. Gotta say, these look nice, all right? Right from the get-go. Very maverick, yeah, <laughs> very good. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna start with these glasses first, and you've got a little device there. What does this do? This is a V-Box Sport, so we use these for collecting data on track. Yeah, so it's gonna collect data. So I'll get a lap time, yep. but I'll also get a little speed trace. So I'll be able to see not just how your lap time improves or doesn't improve, I'll also see where you're braking, how you're accelerating, and the key point here is vision. So I'll be able to see your throttle trace to see how you're opening up the corner and how much confidence you have to get on the power. So you reckon data is gonna show whether these lenses help you drive quicker and safer? Yeah. Obviously quicker on track, on the road, safer is what we're focusing on, right? Yeah, vision. Vision. And do you think it's gonna make a difference? I mean, yeah, vision is everything. If you can't see where you're going, it's terrifying, <laughs> isn't it? So, yeah, I would hope bit. so. <laughs> well, you've got to be sat next to me, so it's especially terrifying for you. Yeah, can I wear them? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shall we get and do it? Let's, let's get our helmets on and we'll head out there. But before we do, so that you can actually see the difference, I've got a transition drive wear lens over this action camera and then I've got another action camera with that. I'm going to stick them up there on the windscreen so you can see the difference and see pretty much what I'm seeing when I compare just the normal glasses to my Transitions drive wear. All right I'm going to do some laps just in my normal glasses see how I get on. It's pretty damp out there with some water on the track so we should get quite a lot of reflections. See how we go. Right, coming up here, sun to my face, a lot of light shining off the track, it's quite glaring. That just affects your concentration. And I get it again when I come around this corner into the sun. Yeah, and the water on the track, once again, <laughs> it's causing me to squint. Makes it harder to find your braking points. Yeah, and these puddles here on the ground, just notice those ever so slightly, a little bit more as the sun reflects off them. Right, that's enough. I'm going to pull in. I'm going to switch glasses. Try the transitions. Okay, heading out on track already. I can see that I've got more contrast, which just helps give you a bit more confidence. Makes it easier to pick out your lines. You can also spot better where the damp parts are compared to dry, which is really important. Making sure I'm driving on the, the dry line, taking the corners slightly wider on the dry part of the track. So coming up this hill, before it was really glary. Now there is a bit of glare, but it's nowhere near as bad. It didn't distract me anywhere near as much. Now we're coming to the worst part of the track now. Coming up this hill, way better. And I can really see the dry line. That is helping so much. That is the biggest difference. It stops the glare, which is brilliant. But being able to spot the drier line is crucial to maximizing grip and improving the lap time. Right, we've got the times in. Now, let's see how I did. First of all then, Sam, what was my lap time when I was just driving in my normal glasses? When you had them on normally, yep. that was a 25.5. 25.5. That's all right, considering the conditions, right? Yeah, it's a good lap. It was a solid lap. So, was I faster when I was wearing these glasses with the Transitions drivewear lenses in? I'm thinking I was a little bit. It was a 24.2. So that's what, 1.3 seconds? That's quite a lot. Yeah, I can see it, it's there on the data. So you've got this trace graph here, which shows you both laps, and you can see where I was faster when I was wearing these glasses, yeah? First bit, the, the, the two uphill sections is where it was blind in the sun, and this is where you've picked up the power a lot sooner and carried more speed into the corner. So that's the first one going up the hill. Exactly right, yeah. Okay. So you were actually 8K faster going up that hill, it's simply because you got on the power cleaner out of the corner. You could see the exit, you were more confident yeah, yeah, getting exactly. the power, and there you are. So I'm not getting like blinded by the sun so much. I can see the line, I can see the dry line, and it gives me the confidence 
to just pin the throttle earlier. So that found you maybe three or four tenths, but okay. your biggest chunk of speed was coming up into the very blind right coppice corner. I knew it. Yeah. I mean, that, honestly, that was just like looking into a mirror with these glasses on. It was like so much reflection, but these made a massive difference. It just calmed it all down, more contrast. I could see the dry lines. Yeah, you braked so much later. <laughs> I knew it was. On this, it measures about 15 meters later you braked. And not only that, you got off the brake sooner, yeah. got on the power sooner, and through the middle of the corner, so where we find, look for the minimum speed, you found just under 20k. And that's just because I could see. Just vision, that's all just, that is. Just yeah. much better vision, found it easier to see, gave me more confidence, and as a result, I was quicker, but also safer. Okay, so that track experiment was just a bit of fun. Where I really feel the benefit of these Transitions Drivewear lenses is on the road. So I've given the GT3 RS back and I've now jumped into my very own Porsche 911 996, which, yes, I know is a bit of a come down, but I don't mind too much because I'm on some of my favourite driving roads. I've got the two camera set up up here like on track so you can see what the view out is like with and without the Transitions Drivewear tinted lens. Now I'm gonna let you into a little secret. It's a bit embarrassing, right? What I like to do sometimes is get up really early in the morning, go for a drive, you know, before anyone else is on the road. The problem with this time of year though, is the fact that you've got that low-lying winter sun. We're driving along and I'll come around a corner and all of a sudden I'm just like blinded by the sun. I'm like grasping for the sun visor. I'm going like that. I don't know where I am on the road. It's all discombobulating. It just doesn't feel very safe at all. The way these Transitions Drivewear lenses deal with changing light just really helps with that. It's, it's amazing. Also, when I'm driving along and I'm like going through trees and you know, the light is changing all over the place, it's just so much better. It really helps me with that as well. Another thing that I found with these is that sometimes I'll be like doing a long distance journey and let's say I'm just heading east in the morning or west at night I'm constantly squinting if I'm just in my normal glasses or contact lenses with these I don't seem to squint so much and that just makes it feel a bit more comfortable to drive now if you want to find out more about these lenses follow the link in the description or the pinned comment to go to glassesdirect.co.uk so then I like these transitions driveware lenses and I like driving but what I also like is finding out how things actually work I've come to Glasses Direct Headquarters to find out a little bit more about Transitions Drivewear. I'm here with David Hutchfield. Hello, David. Hi, Matt. Good to see you here. Good to see you. So you're the senior optician here, right? I am, yes. And we're here where all the lenses are kept. You've got the lab downstairs. Yeah, this is where the magic happens. It's where these are made. Yes. So tell me, what makes these lenses so special? Transitions Drivewear is a unique driver-focused lens. It's made particularly with a driver in mind. So you think of them as a sunglass pair that then reacts with the sunlight to go darker and it also has a polarized filter on it so it reduces horizontal glare. Unlike a normal photochromic lens, these are specifically designed to improve contrast and reduce glare that you would experience while driving. And they work as well behind a windscreen, don't they? They do. Which yeah. is kind of important, really. As you can see here, this is their unreacted state. So they're kind of an olive green, which is ideal for fairly low level light situations. But then when they get reacted, they go a coppery brown color, which is specifically designed to filter out glare and improve contrast when the sun's bright. Like when you're driving directly into sunlight. Absolutely, your, your, your contrast will be much improved with those compared with an ordinary pair of photochromic lenses. Yeah, I really noticed that actually when I was filming on track going from a garage to outdoors and all of a sudden like bright light really yeah. helped with that. And this morning driving here, directly into the sunlight, really noticed them helping yeah. me out with that as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. There you go. That is so noticeable. Yeah, mark difference. Look at that. Now, one of the other key things that I noticed about these is the benefits of that polarization. Yes. It just stops reflections, doesn't it? Any standing water that you experience on the road, conditions like snow or fog, then it will cut down that glare completely and enable you to see things clearer or things that you wouldn't have seen without the polarized filter. And I can illustrate that with this box here. So yeah. you've got a picture which is underneath a piece of see-through plastic and you can see when it's dark, but if I turn the lights on, all I see is reflections of the lights, yeah. unless I get this lens, which I used to film with earlier, look, I can completely get rid of the reflections. Yeah, that's a polarization filter. It's so good. It's great. I mean, I, I couldn't or wouldn't want to drive without a polarized lens. As someone who likes a light interior on a car, I've really been appreciating the ability of these Transitions Drivewear lenses to combine that light adaptive effect with polarization. Because one of the problems with the light interior is that you get loads of reflections in the dash. Look, I'll show you here with this camera. Look, can you see all those reflections? Can you see them? Actually, I can't see them because I've got these glasses on. There you go. Look, terrible, terrible reflections. Now, I'd like you to see what I was seeing through 
my glasses just, but they've got my prescription in, so it's going to be all distorted for you. What I do have here, though, are a set of glasses with Transitions dry wear lenses without prescription. So you can see how they deal with the reflection. Look at this. Put them over there. And the reflection is gone. Look, you can see it up here again. It's gone. Look at that. Terrible reflections. And now they're gone. Amazing. When Glasses Direct first approached me to do this video, I was like, oh, I can't do it. I've never tried Transitions lenses. So they said, don't worry, Matt, we'll send some out and see how you get on with them. And oh my gosh, what a revelation they are. I can't believe I haven't had any Transitions dry wear lenses before. They are so good. And I'll always have them with me. I'll be wearing them so long as it's not nighttime and dark or I'm presented to camera, because I think really if I'm presented to camera, I don't want a shaded lens. I want you to be able to see my eyes. It just helps with engagement and I need all the help with that I can get, I can tell you. But yeah, other than that, I'll be wearing these transition dry wear lenses. Now, if you want to find out more about them, follow the link in the description or the pinned comment to go to glassesdirect.co.uk. Take my word for it, they're a game changer.